What is up guys? Welcome to the Big Unbox where we do that small tech and today I am back with another Say it with me guys Big unboxing for you for the Pixel 2 and I am back with the temper glass screen protector from Invisishield or Zag to unbox do a quick review as always I'll put up the link in the video description so if you want to check it out feel free to now, I believe this is how it's going to work. So with the Pixel, the regular Pixel 2, it doesn't have a curved screen. So the tempered glass should be a lot more easy and compatible to find a full adhesive one. Whereas the, the slightly curved, even though it's slightly curved glass on the Pixel XL 2, is going to be tougher to find one that has full adhesive. Simply for the fact that curved screen is going to cause some problems. We just know that's how it's going to go down. Simply for the fact that we've tried so many screen protectors for the OnePlus 5. And that's got such a subtle curve to it. You wouldn't think it would be that big an issue, but it is. So this one I expect to be pretty good. We'll actually put it to the test. I'll let you guys know if it's full adhesive or not. But for 40 bucks, you're hoping for a premium product. The packaging definitely looks premium. Got a little Invisishield Glass Plus, Extreme Impact and Scratch Protection, made for Google Pixel, and then three times the shadow protection versus an unprotected screen, which I would hope so. Ultra smooth, easy application, and then they do have their lifetime warranty, but I believe you have to check out the fine print on that. Got a little Zag branding on the back, and then again, same thing on the back of it. Toughest glass protection, period. Basically tells you a little more about the details. Smudge proof. They all claim to be that, but we'll test that out as well. Bubble free application, adhesive. So I believe this one's full adhesive. I can't guarantee it until I actually bust it out and check it out, but I believe it is. So let's go ahead and get to it. So for 40 bucks, let's see how what we're getting. Definitely like the packaging. They do a nice job with that, but you would expect that for, for this type of cash. Let's see what we're getting. I believe you just get one. And that's typically the case with uh, the Zags. So that's it. Okay. Let's see what we're getting here. Let's see if the struggles here. Let's try to get this open. Yeah. All right. So they got a little, just a little tricky there. All right. So well, we got it open. Nice job, Zag. Screen protector. We'll put that to the side. Put the packaging to the side. Got your dust removal sticker. We'll put that to the side. That's actually very good in case you get any dust in it that you find. Got your wet wipe. So clean the clean the screen before you do it. I would say follow the directions. Find a video if you can as well. It makes the process a lot easier. So even though you may have actual you know instructions in front of you, if you can find a video on how to instruct or how to install it, sometimes that's helpful. Here's your lifetime guarantee stuff, so put that to the side. An actual temper glass screen protector right here. Obviously it's not yellow, it's just the, the actual packaging. So once we get this off and put it on the actual screen itself, it'll be crystal clear. Does It does feel pretty good. Google's, <laughs> Google's going off. All right, but the actual temper glass does seem to be pretty thick. So it feels like it's gonna give you some nice protection. Obviously, we'll check it out once I actually put this on. So let's do this. I'm going to put the video on pause. We'll check back with it and see how good it is. If it's a hit or if it's a miss, be right back, guys. Hold tight. All right, guys. Welcome back. I got the Zag Temper Glass Screen Protector put on. No issues at all. It's a pretty smooth transition to put it on. Let's see. So it is full adhesive, so you're not going to have to worry about the you know micro dots and all that basically rainbow effect in the middle. So that's actually really nice. It is a little shorter. You can see there's just a little small difference on the sides. I mean, maybe it might be just the way I lined it up. Maybe just a little bit. I should have lined it over just a little bit, but it's not too bad. I wouldn't say it's that short where it's going to affect any of the viewing angles or anything like that. But so far, so good. I think the, the installation process is very simple. And I do like the fact that it's full adhesive, even though it's just a little short, not too bad. And you can see just the from the outskirts of the actual tempered glass, what kind of protection you're getting. So you can definitely see you get some pretty nice protection for it. This is like the old school version, it was pretty easy to put on. I mean, you have some little bubbles to work out, but it went on pretty smoothly with no issues. And I'm a big fan of like the, you know, this 
style tempered glass where it's, you know, you're getting full adhesive, so it's not gonna have that rainbow effect. And then you basically won't have those sensitivity issues either. Cause you know what I'm saying? Those other ones that basically just have the adhesive on the sides, they tend to have sensitivity issues for the screen where it's not always noticeable, but sometimes you can notice it's just a little slow when you're you know moving around the finger to try to you know navigate through certain things. To me, this is the best way to go. And if you can get the full adhesive effect, it's also not gonna have that grayish tint to it as well. So that's nice. So keep that in mind with the, the ones that have just the adhesive on the sides, they also get this, tend to get this grayish tint to them where this one's gonna be crystal clear, no issues at all. You know, can I say if this is worth 40 bucks, that, that is a good point. I'm not sure if it's worth 40 bucks. I mean, I would like to see this 20 bucks, but for the fact that it's full adhesive and it's close to being edge to edge protection, we'll say it's a hit for now. Obviously it's gonna be compatible with all cases. You can tell how just a little bit short, but it's definitely not gonna hit into the screen enough where it's gonna affect any of the viewing angles. So with that said, I'd say this one's probably a hit. Well, it's a, it's a small hit, but it's a hit. Simply the fact you're getting full edge to edge protection or at least close to full edge to edge protection, but more importantly, full adhesive. So we'll say it's a mini hit. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. You guys think this is a hit or miss? If you guys have any other suggestions of tempered glass you want me to review, throw it up in the comment section. We'll check it out, guys. How about you guys hit the subscribe button? We'll see you guys next time on the Big Unbox. We do it big, guys.